Hey, any fast shits the 21st of April 2019. Already a lot to talk about. Three churches and three hotels hit in Sri Lanka. You gotta pray for these people. On the day he is risen, you know. Just shows you once again the wickedness in this world. But what I wanted to tell you is I loaded up a video last night on many fishers. I, I forget to tell people that I have this other channel a lot of the time. But I do have this other channel. And now I'm going to re-upload that video on here where I meant to put it. It's about the gargoyles again. So, there's that. Hey, hey Fash, it's the 20th of April, 2019. And... I just can't believe this popped up in my newsfeed this afternoon. Denver International Airport has a giant sign that's broken. And this is in the news today. And I'm just like beside myself because we're just talking about Denver Airport. And this sign is just crazy. I mean, look at this thing. It's a thousand foot serpentine sign made of lights and it's got a big sign that says den on it like a den of vipers right the serpentine sign is out at denver airport it's very interesting and very coincidental the thousand foot display of lights that reminds me of bush senior his thousand points of light remember i mean it's really kind of crazy that this would come up today so, of course, you know, I'm thinking about Denver again, and it turns out, after a little bit of searching around for this, right, that the uh, gargoyle, they call, at Denver Airport, which is not really a gargoyle, it is a chimera, and, and there is a difference. And I showed you how closely they resemble these guys. Well, get a load of this. The, this guy at Denver Airport, the original, in the suitcase is a literal copy from the 800-year-old chimera at Notre Dame Cathedral. And you're looking at it right there. Same exact character. And now they have a talking one that's the same exact character, if you can believe that. So the serpentine sign has gone out. What do you suppose that means now? You know what I mean? And this talking chimera it is just amazing it just to look into what a chimera really is because that's what these things represent and there is a medical definition of chimera it's basically two or more species mixed together i mean there is a literal medical explanation for this and i'll link this to you but it's also a greek myth that was an awesome fire-breathing monster with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a serpent. The chimera was killed, though, by the hero Beller Aophon, mounted in most versions of the tale on Pegasus, the winged horse. Remember that, because in this little video here, you're going to hear this chimera speak to this little girl. Okay, and you got to listen to what, what they say. And also, just bear in mind, what is operating this thing? Do, do people really think that they hired someone to uh, operate this thing's cameras in motion and have these quick comebacks to people? I don't think that's the case, but that's another discussion. Listen to what this thing says to this little girl. I need your help. Guess what my favorite food is. What? No, I want you to guess. Um, uh, cumin. Cumin, yes, I love cumin. <gasps> Uh, she said human, and he's very quick-witted to come right back with, Oh yes, I love cumin. Now notice what this young lady has on her shirt. She has Pegasus, the winged horse who defeated the Chimera. This is just crazy, you guys. But that is the literal same one from 900-whatever-year-old Notre Dame that just burnt down accidentally the other day. There's so much connected to this, no one could ever go through all of it. All I know is this is a war that you gotta be engaged in, and you gotta know which side you're on, 
okay, or it will defeat you. It just will. And this is your eternal soul we're talking about here. It's pretty important because there is no coincidence in this. After all that we were just speaking about, and now we have this creature talking about eating humans. I mean, just really listen to this exchange just one more time. Think about this, okay? Guess what my favorite food is. What? No, I want you to guess. Um, uh, cumin? Cumin, yes, I love cumin. <gasps> I said cumin. Oh, I thought you said cumin. I'm a real big spice guy. Oh, it's so funny. This is so sad, but it's very real. I pray you know Jesus Christ. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 